In this video, I'm about to show y'all boys the best working NBA 2K23 VC glitch that you can take advantage of whether you're on current or next gen to make a lot of VC. Make sure y'all boys drop a like, drop a sub, turn on post notifications, man. And with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video. All right, so look, man, to start this glitch off, the very first thing that you guys wanna do is you wanna make a roster. Now listen, if you if you're on xbox current or next gen i've already made a roster for you however if you're on playstation i'm going to show you guys what you need to do to get the most out of this pc glitch so yeah man what you want to do is go over to your features and then you want to go down to create roster choose a modern nba and choose official 2k sports roster and then you you can choose any team that you want to do really but for me i went ahead and chose the golden state warriors and then once you guys find the team that you want to do this vc glitch with what you want to do is go ahead and enter the quick edit mode by pressing start on your controller and then what you want to do is you want to make whatever player you want to choose you want to make this player as tall as possible and then you want to give this player max stats and you can upgrade a whole row at once by double tapping a or x this basically turns steph curry into a demigod and then once you do that go all the way to the very bottom and then make find like the worst player on the team make this player as short as possible and then you want to give this player all low attributes so it looks like the lowest that you can go is 25 so you want to give this dude all 25 attributes how to do that you want to go over to the tendos and then you can um go ahead and change steph curry's tendos to where he's got every, everything on 99 and then after you guys give the player that you chose on 99 tendos you want to do the opposite for the worst player on the team and like i said if you're on xbox current or next gen i've already done this for you but if you're on playstation you're gonna to have to make your own roster but yeah man you then want to give this player all zero endos and then after you guys do this you can hit y or triangle again and that will take you over to you actually don't have just that but you can adjust the badges Make sure you give your player all Hall of Fame badges, and then you can scroll all the way down and then make sure that the worst player that you chose has no badges. You can also give uh, the player that you chose all hot zones, and then of course you're gonna give the worst player all cold zones. So yeah, man, after you guys have, uh, have adjusted that, you can then go ahead and back out. So you can exit and then hit confirm changes, and then once you back out, you want to make sure that you either save and share roster or you can just save roster overall, name it, whatever you want, and then you're good to go. But like I said, I've already done this part for you if you're on Xbox, current, and next gen, but if you're on PlayStation, you are going to have to make your own roster. So since I've already made my own, I'm going to go ahead and exit without saving. But once you guys do that, you then want to go over to play now. Once you guys get here, go over to blacktop. You wanna make sure that you hit 1v1 and then you can put your controller on the left hand side and then you wanna make sure that you change roster. So if you are on PlayStation, you'd wanna go ahead and hit user created roster and then you'd wanna tab over to my files and upload your own roster that you just made. If you're on Xbox, all you have to do is hit search, search by content name, and then you can type in JR Way Too Cold, which is my channel name, and this will bring up the um, roster for you. And then you guys will see the roster right here, so you can go ahead and hit download on that. Now, after you guys do that, you can go ahead and put the controller on the left hand side. And then for the game conditions, put it as low as possible. So you don't put it on five, you can hit advance. And then you want to make sure that you scroll over 
the Golden State Warriors because that was the team that I chose. Make sure Steph Curry is on the left hand side, scroll all the way down and then put this dude on the right hand side and then you want to go ahead and load this game up. Now as far as your settings go, um, you can put the game difficulty on whatever you would like. You can up the shot clock, you can really adjust these settings however you would like. But what you want to do with this VC glitch is you want to make sure that you get through this game as fast as possible which should be extremely easy. So you guys will see that as soon as you get the ball, you should just be able to shoot it and it should green no matter what. On defense, you can either play defense or let the AI score, but you wanna get through this game as, as fast as possible to get the most V possible. All right, so after this game is over with, you guys will see that you will get your VC. You then want to immediately go ahead and hit rematch. And then once you hit rematch, once again, you just want to get through this game as fast as possible. Now look, man, after you guys play the second game, sometimes it will stop giving you your VC. So after two, three, or four games, or if you notice that you stop getting VC, to fix that, all you wanna do is close out the game and reload the game back up. Once you reload the game back up, go ahead and go back to play now, and then you wanna go over to Blacktop, hit 1v1 and then you want to make sure that you change your roster so either you use the, your own roster that you found or if you want to use mom that i found for you go over to search search by content name and then type in my channel which is jr way too cold And then you want to go ahead and download, download my roster once again. And then after you do that, put your controller on the left hand side. The game conditions as low as it will go on 5. And then you want to make sure that you go over to the Golden State Warriors or whatever team that you chose. Put so Steph Curry on the left hand side and then put the worst player on the right hand side. And then you want to go ahead once again load this game up now in this game like i said you just want to get through it as fast as possible you can literally let the ai score it does not matter you just want to win the game as fast as you can so after the game's over you guys will see you will get your vc so you want to go ahead and hit rematch once again and then once you hit rematch you just want to make sure that you win this game as fast as possible. Alright, so look man, once the game is over with, you guys will see that you will get your VC. And you can hit rematch up to four up to four times, I believe. Four is the most that you can do, then you have to close out and repeat because for whatever reason it will stop giving you your VC. But yeah, man, y'all boys take advantage of this glitch. Run up your VC. Drop a like, drop a sub, turn on notifications, man. We out. Peace.